I'm gonna show you how to create a free pin generator for Pinterest so you can automatically post. Let's get into it. So I've been testing this over the last 14 days or so and I haven't been pushing it to its limits and I've already got 1300 impressions. On the first day I tried it, I got 487, and the second day, 164. It, it seems like if you're not consistent with it, your impressions drop quite a bit. But what I do like is the outbound links, the audience growth, and just the amount of saves. This being automated is allowing me to get free traffic to my website. These are all AI generated and most of it's mostly just testing. I have done very minimal work on this, but I will be streamlining and showing you guys exactly what I did to automatically generate these and post them from my website without doing anything. So let's get into it. I have a whole distribution here where it makes five different pins for a WordPress, but we're gonna make a, a simple auto pinner. However, if you want that more advanced one, you can get it in our community. If you scroll down to the auto Pinterest auto pinner, it's right here uh, in our group. It's also in all of our training here for free uh, inside our group. So definitely check that out. But let's go ahead and create one because it's very simple. Uh, all we're gonna do is create some kind of uh, pinner for Pinterest. And we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need either to choose a board or to create a new board. And that's kind of what we need to figure out, the, the game plan on which route we wanna go. So I'm super lazy, so I'm going to create a channel in Slack so when I send it a voice message about whatever kind of product, it will create me a Pinterest off of that product, create me a pin in Pinterest with my affiliate link and a possible blog post. So we'll see if we can get all of that done. Let's get into it. So the first thing we are going to need is our Slack channel, and then it's going to need to download that audio file, and then it's going to need to tra transcribe it into text so that we can search for our Amazon product. All right, so right now I have it watching a private channel, downloading the file, creating the transcription, and then asking Am uh, Perplexity to give me Amazon links for 10 products based off of my transcription. So I'm gonna actually re-record a transcription for maybe some baby products, and we'll see what it comes out with. I'm looking for a product on Amazon that is for toddlers and about learning to speak or learning to say numbers or words or just learning in general. So if we run this, we should be able to see this new uh, file that was downloaded. Here it is right here. And we're going to run this. And so it downloaded that file. It created a transcription and that transcription is looking for a product that is for toddlers and about learning to speak or learning to say numbers or words or just learning in general. And that's exactly what I said. And now Perplexity is giving me 10 Amazon products, hopefully, uh, off of this. And I'm gonna then turn those into uh, Pinterest boards so that I can post it to uh, my social media or just to Pinterest and grow that uh, those impressions or even to my own website. So let's see what the output bundle was. We got our choices here and the message and the content. So this is all of the content. So it didn't give me the response that I wanted. So I'm going to test it a few times. So it did give me the 10 that I wanted uh, right here. So we have one, two, all the way down to 10. So now I can take that and uh, attach my own affiliate link on there and uh, create some Pinterest ports. So let's do that. All right, so right now, as of right now, we have it setting up. So when we speak, it will download that file. It will then, let's do this little airplane thing, take it to ChatGPT, go through perplexity, open ChatGPT, JSON, it will iterate it, it will separate it, and then it will send it to Airtable. 
that's pretty sweet. And I have my air table set up, so we'll add the product link and the product name. So let's see what it does. So we did get it to go all the way through. We just have some errors. So it looks like the tag didn't work. Uh, also the iterator, it seems like it possibly didn't work. Um, so we need to exchange that and the table didn't work. So a few adjustments. All right, so we just had the wrong uh, table here. It did give me four operations and it did give me the table here. So that's good. It just didn't give me the link. So we're almost there. I mean, as you can see, we have the product name here. We just didn't get the product link. And that's just setting the right variable here. I had the wrong variable there. And if we go here, we'll just need to get this uh, variable, this new variable. So let's just delete this, add this. Hopefully this works. And so if we run this, we should have our all four links with the products. And then we can take that and start building our board for our Medium article, our Pinterest board, and our actual pins. So let's check to see what the results were. There we are. We have uh, our three products, affiliate links with our tag at the end. And there we go. So now we, we want to create a Medium article. Um, we can do that using Zimwriter. Uh, we can merge the two, I guess. Uh, or we could essentially uh, use ChatGPT. All right, so we've done it. This is our rundown. Uh, let's bring it in. So it takes our, our voice, takes our voice, and then it downloads that file, creates a transcription, puts it into ChatGPT uh, Perplexity to get a Amazon uh, product then it turns that into the uh, variable. So it will create a uh, link of the product and then it will grab the link, the title of the product and then the link. And then it will irid, uh, turn that into a variable. I actually don't need this now because I was doing multiple products, but I figured I'd just do one. Uh, it will set that variable. So it puts my affiliate link on the end. Uh, and then from there, it parses that again, um, a prompt, a title, and a description. I probably don't need this one. I can probably put that back over there, but um, yeah, who cares? Uh, it then creates an image. It updates the table with the um, record, puts it down in Markdown, creates a blog, uploads it to Medium, and then it creates the pin. So... There we have it in all of its glory, a talk. You talk, it will find an Amazon product. It will add your Amazon product affiliate code. It will create a blog post and then it will create a pin to your Pinterest linking back to that article. So let's give it a go. Um, let's turn this to public and let's just keep it at pop up. Eh, we'll, we'll do public. So let's see if it's working in all of its glory. So here we go. Choose where to start. We got this object and let's look at Pinterest. So Amazon must haves. Do we have anything in here? Currently zero pins. So if this goes correctly, then we should have one pin after this. So I'm sure there's a, a streamlined process on removing some of these steps to save on operations. Um, but you know, I just haven't done that yet. All right. I think I got it now. So it's got my blog post going and it's creating my Pinterest. So there we have it. Let's see if we have everything we need. Pull up Pinterest, refresh Amazon must haves. Should have one pin in here. Okay. So the baby product on Amazon, we got the link here, product overview, boom, 
actually, I mean, this is this is it. Product overview right here. The toddler toys pocket speech one and three. I just need to change the title. This is the, the outline I gave it, the use cases, pros and cons. So we're gonna do something off the cusp. We're gonna, instead of baby product, we'll do maybe like a drill. So let's do voice um, recording audio clip. So I want say a drill, uh, something in hardware. I don't know, surprise me. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that. We are seeing if this goes all the way through. We have our uh, blog post here, it's generating an image. Uh, it's creating the markdown. It's gonna create the air table, create my post, and then upload it to Pinterest. So if we go back and refresh this, we have that next, uh, next thing. So there we go. We have the, oh. We have our article here. We have our description, the DeWalt, 20 V Max cordless drill driver kit. We have our article here. Product overview. Like I said, I just need to update that title. We have a product link here. And we've created a whole article, blog post, image, and affiliate link to Amazon just from using our voice. And it will you know, create a blog post and everything you need step by step. If you want this, uh, this will actually be in our community. There is uh, already 52 people, I believe. 52 people in the group. So I'll add this into our uh, learning modules, content and scale. All of our templates are in here. All of those trainings you can learn completely for free. So I'll see you guys on the inside. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.